You got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. What's going on everyone? Kenan here. It's time for another Ask Camp Kenan question. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. I got a lot of work going on, as you can see. We're cleaning snake uh, enclosures. And uh, we got tractors, we got the zoom ed stuff all out and about. Uh, it's, it's looking appropriately uh, disastrous uh, in front of the warehouse. But, you know what? I thought I'd stop, take a break, and uh, talk to all of you out there in the Camp Kenan Army. Uh, and thank you all for submitting these questions to Patreon. If you want to submit your question and become a Patreon supporter, go to patreon.com slash Camp Kennan. And uh, hey, you'll be part of the army, everybody. Here's uh, Ethel and Ozzy. They're doing really well. They're moving about today. Hi, kids. How you going? Uh, today's question comes from Bud. And uh, I'm going to combine two questions, actually. It's from a gentleman named Bud and Charles E. And the first question is Bud's. And he says, hey, Kennan. Uh, we got a heavy rain last night, <clears throat> and uh, you know what? Well, let me read it. Let me let me actually read it and get it done verbatim because um, going off memory. Yeah, well, with my memory, it's fading as the years continue. Now, here I am. Okay, uh, we had a heavy rain last night for about one hour. Uh, I opened the outdoor desert tortoise box this morning and noticed a ton of cockroaches inside. Will they harm the tortoise? I wanted him to winter in there if possible. Okay, good question. I got tons of what we call cucarachas or palmetto bugs. That's kind of a uh, euphemism for cockroach, really. Uh, there are a lot of them in the boxes. Um, it doesn't bother the tortoises at all. They really can't hurt them. Uh, here's the cherry head tortoise box. And this one's going to get revamped soon because the floor rotted out. So they've got a bit of a dirt floor, but you know, they don't care. The heater is up top. There's the heat pad. Uh, and there are cockroaches coming in and out of here from time to time. One of the things that can be a problem for the tortoises um, is actually uh, rodents. Um, the problem with rodents is they can spread diseases uh, and they'll urinate in the water bowls. You see, here are the water bowls, and I always am constantly overflowing the water bowls and water enclosures uh, so that we're totally getting these animals um, clean, fresh water at all times. Very, very important. Um, but, you know, the little lizards that run around here, the little snakes, um, another problem, uh, well, those aren't problems, but another problem that I tend to find is the cane toads. Um, unfortunately, I have to... Um, get rid of the cane toads whenever I find them because sometimes they'll go uh, in between the enclosures and they can spread disease and they'll also bring ticks in. Um, and of course, if one of my tortoises were to eat a dead one, they could potentially eat uh, towards the glands where the poison is. So I don't really like cane toads hanging about. Um, it's kind of a problem. Uh, here we are in the pond area. There's an elongated tortoise. These guys don't even have a box. They just burrow into the leaf litter and cypress mulch uh, during our cold snaps. And so far uh, this time of year, we haven't had any cold snaps, so that's good. Uh, the pond's looking amazing. There's the pond, everybody. Look at my two Oscars, they've gotten much bigger. I got three of them, actually. But here are, oh, they're shy. Don't be shy, guys. Look at all the fish. Everybody is just doing so well. Uh, which brings us to the second Ask Cam Kenny question. I'm going to read it. Uh, it it kind of has to do a little bit uh, with the first question. It was about insects. And so this is from Charles E. I got something on my back. I think it's a spider. Mm. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, how do you control ants? With the weather slowly turning colder in Texas, fire ants have started to invade my tortoise houses, seeking warmer areas. They're driving me insane. I know the feeling. After the third time completely ripping the greenhouses apart to poison the ants, I decided to ask you how to help control them. Well, Charles E., there is no surefire way, but I will say this. I am not sponsored by this product, but Orthene uh, tends to work wonders for me. Um, what I'll do is if I locate a nest or if a nest has, ants have taken up residence inside one of my tortoise shelters, or tortoise enclosures, I sprinkle a little bit of this on it and it smells awful. It smells so bad that the tortoises stay away from it. I've never had a problem 
with tortoises ingesting this or becoming sick because of this and I've used it for about 15 years here and it works pretty quick. Now they'll pop up again because that's just the way it goes. But um, I use that product and it really helps out. You could sprinkle it around the bases of the enclosures or the shelters uh, and the enclosure if you're trying to save baby turtles. Uh, just sprinkle it around the outside of their enclosure. There's Darwin, by the way. Uh, anyhow, so, you know, I like to use that product, the Orthene. You can also use a product you can get at feed supply stores called Permithrin. A lot of snake guys use that to control mites. Uh, and, you know, kind of disinfect or kill any um, parasitic insects that may be living uh, in uh, snake enclosures or near livestock. So you don't want to, you know, I've never had a problem with permethrin, uh, but, you know, you just don't want to spray it on any mucous membranes or get it on the snake. So remove the snake from its enclosure, then use the permethrin. You can sprinkle the permethrin around enclosures. Uh, and it'll kill any unwanted insects. There's Darwin. No, no, wait a minute. Darwin. Nostradamus just having a bit of a soak today. That's always fun, you know, seeing the tortoises do their thing. Uh, Darwin is coming on up here. I think she's hungry. We're going to get to feeding everybody here real soon once I get all those snake cages back in. Let's go look at the snake cage. Yeah, man. So it's kind of funny that these questions popped up because um, it was time for some routine snake maintenance. Um, I like to take out the enclosures, scrub them all out. I've been letting them dry out while I uh, shoot the video and while I had a little bit of lunch. But um, it's important to make sure you're cleaning the snake cages often, especially when they're indoors. Um, most of the time I keep snakes outdoors. As you know, I'll be building a new facility with Kyle and most of my snakes are gonna go live there outdoors. Um, but right now, what I have now is just the vision cages. They are in fact drying out. Um, I sprayed them down with permethrin, I scrubbed them, and uh, then I am going to uh, bring them all back inside and get the snakes set up again. Um, so that's what I do um, as far as you know, keeping um, unwanted insect pets out of the enclosures, um, but Again, for the first question from Bud, no worries with cockroaches, don't sweat it. Uh, I will just say this, uh, be careful if it gets too wet uh, for your desert tortoise during hibernation. You don't want them to dry out, but you definitely don't want them. Oh, look at this. Here's an ant's nest right here. Here's a fire ant's nest, and you can tell because of the granular sand, and if I were to just kind of do this, maybe it's an empty nest, but this was definitely a nest of fire ants. Um, so there you have it. Oh, maybe they moved over here. Uh, so yeah, I would watch out for that. I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, Get rid of this because like I said, I don't want fire ants in and around slinky or anybody They're just kind of a nuisance. It is what it is folks. That is life when living in the southern part of the United States Hey, how about a pretty cherry head tortoise? Look at that beauty. Yeah, these are my friend Andy's and uh, They're gonna be going home in probably another eight months to his new home so how cool is that? Pretty eyes on that one, right? All right, everybody. We have uh, answered questions. Oh, and Charles E., there's your fire ants uh, option. Try the orthene, man. It's just a fact of life when you're living in the southern part of the United States. Uh, keep on keeping on. Keep going. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, that's it. I will see you guys soon. Thanks for joining me on another Ask Cam Kennan question. We kind of wander about. We answer questions. We learn a little something. You hear about my little tips and tricks. I made a mud wallow for the sulcata tortoises there. Water comes out. Mud wallow. They can do that. It's going to grow grass over it here in a little bit. My sulcatas are just hanging out in the hottest part of the day. Just relaxing. Do you guys know who that is? Yeah, it's Brutus and Lumpy and uh, good old Hercules is out there somewhere, but they're actually getting along much better. Oh, and look at this. You don't think sulcatas are tough? They're breaking down fences. These are tough tortoises. <clears throat> Swallow the frog. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. I am Kenan Harkin. You are the Camp Kenan Army. Hit thumbs up if you like to learn about tortoises. Don't forget new videos coming. Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday live, and of course the SKM Cannons right now. Go to patreon.com slash campcannon. Lots happening here in the future. Stick with me. Uh, I've got a lot going on in my life, and I'm just trying to get caught up. So uh, there you have it. All right, everyone. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you all soon. Later.